Japan's nuclear waste is piling up, but it has yet to find a site that can serve as its first facility for disposal. Our screen to assess if a town in southern Kyushu Island is suitable began last month. CNN's Mitch Ishida heads there to find out more. The rural town of Genkai is located by the sea and surrounded by nature. Many of its nearly 5,000 residents make a living through farming and fishing. Situated in Saga Prefecture in the far southwest, Genkai has hosted a nuclear plant for about five decades and it might one day become Japan's final destination for nuclear waste. In May, Genkai's mayor gave the green light for the town to undergo screening to assess if it is suitable for the construction of an underground disposal facility. Documents describing geological features of Genkai Town are collected. The central government linked body, Nuclear Waste Management Organization, will spend two years to study the document. Then a report will be published and based on that, local leaders will decide on whether to move on to the next step. The entire process to select a permanent disposal site will take some 20 years. At each stage, the local authorities have the right to pull out. By undergoing just the first step of screening though, the town can receive grants of up to 2 billion yen or 12.7 million US dollars. Some local groups like the hotel and restaurant associations have pushed for it. But Mayor Wakiyama admits to having misgivings. One reason is the size of the town, which measures just 36 square kilometers. Nuclear waste needs to be stored at least 300 meters underground for about 100,000 years until radioactivity falls to acceptable levels. Genkai is the third site to go through screening, after two others in Hokkaido, which are still in the midst of the review process. Among them, Genkai is the only site to host a nuclear plant. Residents like Hiroshi Nakayama practically grew up with nuclear power. The 56-year-old runs a farm where he raises 2,000 black-haired wagyu. The best are sold as premium saga beef, which is highly sought after. And Mr. Nakayama is not worried that might change if a radioactive waste disposal site is built. Genkai residents traditionally support nuclear power. They reap benefits from the nuclear plant, such as cheaper electricity costs compared to the national average. And the Fukushima disaster in 2011 has not shaken their confidence. Fukushima also had a accident, but it was a part of the Japan, and it was a part of the Japan, and it was a part of the Japan. But half of Genkai's nuclear reactors are now offline, as they did not meet tightened safety standards. Genkai nuclear plant used to supply the most energy of all nuclear plants here in Kyushu. In 1975, it began operation, but in 2015, one nuclear reactor went offline, and in 2019, another did. Currently, there are only two nuclear reactors in operation. With fewer nuclear workers coming to town, local businesses are seeing their income decline. While a disposal facility could boost business, Mr. Mizoe hopes for more clarity from authorities. 
、日本が原,原発に頼る以上、その問題は当然、以前から気にはなっていましたけど、なぜ今、限界中なのかというのは思いましたよね。Mayor Wakiyama says his decision to approve the screening is not driven by dollars and cents. Genkai receives substantial payouts for hosting the nuclear plant. And he says its coffers are in good shape. あるわけですね、まあ、もちろん原子力関係の税とかそういったものとこあと国の交付金とかで、えー、町は賄ってますので Mr. Wakiyama says his biggest hope is that by having Genkai undergo screening other towns will come forward Since Japan began generating atomic energy it has produced more than 19,000 tons of nuclear waste For now This will continue to accumulate in interim storage, not safe in the long run. Michio Ushida Sienei, Genkai, Saga Prefecture, Japan.